to see how this goes on a different fucking connection. Okay, it, it looks better. Or at least it, it looks like it's picking up the screen. Let's try, and if it stops working, I'm just going to so quick give to up streaming for today. Fantastic goal. Because I don't think anything's gonna work if I've switched if I've switched Wi-Fi connection to the wireless one and it doesn't work, I don't really know what else I can do. And on my phone it's buffering a lot, so it's not being very helpful. And firing it into the area. The keeper dealt with the danger. Pau Torres. Sancho now. Not a particularly strong challenge. Ooh, big clearance. And over comes the corner. And punched away. Crisp tackling. Throw ins given. I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Arsenal game. Alan? It's a goal for Stoke City. 18 minutes played, 1 0. Many thanks, Alan. Hulkrug. Cork. Ball with Pablo Fornals. Jack Cork now. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Johan Berg Goodwinson. And a tidy tackle. Declan Rice. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Oh! Situations for the keeper. And maybe scope for United to add to their advantage with this set piece. Oh, he knows that could have been the game right there. You can see his frustration as well. And now the delivery. Harry. His no, in Harry handballed it. Like a spoon. Ooh. Okay, I think it was my data that was playing up on my phone at least. Just kind of kicking it into the fucking wall. News of a goal in the Arsenal match. Yes, Alan Harry. McAnally. It's the second goal for Arsenal. 31 minutes played. 2-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Holland. He's given it straight to the opposition. Chris Wood. Phil Krug. And the emphasis is on creativity. Fruitful looking attack. Wood. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Marcus Rashford. 
It's a clever run here from Rashford. Has a go. Oh, a tremendous block. Well, I think the stream's now fixed that I'm on the other Wi-Fi anyway, so that's good. This might be ideal for the counter. And Chris Wood, good physical play, struggling to keep the ball. Well, they've jumped in front, Lee, that's the most important thing. Your assessment so far? Well, it's all going well for United, just... It's tight. Control of the ball is key when a game is like this. They have the players to do it for sure, though. But they'll be the happier of the two teams at half-time. Hulkrug. Now the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Holland. Oh, Perfect fuck. And that will do it for the first time. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Damn it. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Goodmanson. Here's Phil Krug. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. And a strong tackle. Holland, encouraging stuff from United. And a good looking ball. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. United regaining possession. Declan Rice. Fuck me, Holland, like. That was the reason I waited so long to pass it to him. It's because I knew as soon as I'd pass it to him, he'd run off. That's exactly what he fucking did. <sighs> this game. So a throw in here. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Declan Rice. Sancho now. to nothing in the end. Brownhill. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Hulkrug. Right, Harry. Well, nothing productive, really. Jaden Sancho. Enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Manchester United. Oh, how's that hit his hand? Fuck off. <sighs> well, threat over for now. Eric Peters. For Niles. And he's given it away. That attack. <sighs> Going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. I'm still leading, like, but it doesn't feel like I'm leading. I need that well, comfort ball. The Emirates Stadium, a goal has been scored. Alan McAdamy. It's a third goal for Arsenal. 70 minutes played, 3-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. <sighs> Respectable enough effort, but he couldn't extend the lead. Given too much space, why not take the shot on? Good effort. 
Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Burnley facing Manchester City. Yeah, Derek, it should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Rashford. Opportunity here. A tremendous block. Damn it. Too easily read. And a goal has gone in at Selhurst Park. Let's hear about it from Allen. It's the second goal for Tottenham Hotspur. It's been scored by Lucas. He beat the offside line and lifted the ball over the keeper. 77 minutes played. 2 0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. And in with a real chance. Yes. And a goal. He's put it away. That should see the game. The game. Not the game. <laughs> The through ball is perfectly timed. It causes havoc and he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. So 2 0 now. Goal for Manchester United. Anthony Marzio. Josh Brownhill. Wood. Well, they have it again. For Niles. Right. And a change to the scoreline at the Emirates Stadium. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's the second goal for Stoke City. It's been scored by James McLean. A shot from the edge of the area. James McLean. Yes. Come on, McLean. Three, two. Cheers again, Alan. Ref! Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Ooh. Ooh. Sancho bang that. confident in possession good physical play Kevin Long Brownhill Chris Wood and the referee blows for full time lovely win lovely win great to have the stream back up and running again as well Seems like that wired connection is probably just not going to work. Bruno to open up scoring with a lovely chip. Zero shots. That is FIFA free. I was just worried that they were going to get a shot and it was going to be in. <laughs> Matt McLaughlin. Wolf. Um, now we're playing Stoke. We're playing James McLean United. Or is it James McLean City? It's more James McLean City. Um, McLean. McLean. <laughs> um. As their 20th, I think we can rotate buys. And we've Everton Southampton coming up soon. That'll be the strategy. Who picked these kits? You are getting fired. Give Diallo a start. Cavani, a send off. Jarner again. Um, and 
Mangi can start. I think I'll leave it there. Action comes to you from the Potteries. Hello from the Stoke City Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Stoke City versus Manchester United. Well, thank you, Derek. The excitement at the start of any game is almost tangible. Looking forward to this one. The crowd are up for it. The players look like they're going to have a really good go at this game. Can't wait. Manchester United were the victors against Burnley. Expectations for this game, Lee? Well, last time out, they were on cruise control, winning 2-0, a clean sheet. Always a bonus. I'm predicting another win today, Derek, that's for sure. Come on, Ahmad, keep it in. Yes. Chance to play it in. And a good-looking ball. Donny! Fuck me, Donny! Ooh! I was trying to fucking panic switch to Donny there and it would not switch to him until it let me fucking foul their defender. Because <laughs> Donny was in the best position there to fucking praise. <sighs> well, Manchester United impressed in the last game, winning against Burnley. Expectations for this game, Lee? Well, Derek's never nice at any time of the season to go in. Oh my God, it's fucking one nil. <sighs> so the match has restarted. One nil here. Cavani might fancy it. The clearance wasn't decisive. Ooh. So the corner played into the box. Cavani, yes. An end-to-end -end game. Yes. Another look at a lovely deep corner to the far post that catches the defenders off guard, and that's a good header. Eye on the ball, concentration. It's a lovely finish. So a level contest, one-one. A goal has gone in at Molyneux. Let's hear more about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Arsenal. Twenty-two minutes played, one-nil. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Ah, broken counter attack. Badu NGI. James, McCray please give me your honor. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Crossing possibilities. Nicely timed tackle. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. Well, they won't get too many opportunities today. They have to capitalize from set pieces like this. James. A real opening now. Can he find the net? Yes. He just had the pace in them. Easy. I was just thinking, do Stoke Cent well, City have pacey defenders? Don't think so. <laughs> that defender's number 37. James Collins. How'd Stoke get promoted? That was pretty brilliant. Or is it not Nathan Collins? It's a second goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Raheem Who's James Collins? That's his second today. It's another player. <laughs> won't want to see it again. 
He came together and the ball took a slight bobble off the pitch over his hands. 31 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. And the danger's still on. Can they take advantage? And he clears it out of harm's way. Stoke City, possession, brilliant. Oh my god! Oh my god. I was going for the ball and turns heavy. Literally. Got all man and like speed boosted as well. Mid challenge. <laughs> that would have been a raid. <laughs> Great chance with that header, but he sent it wide of the post. Well, it's quite easy to head that one over the bar. This time he just gets his angles wrong, just past the post. I believe there's been a goal in the Wolves game. Let's hear about it from Alan. It's a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 38 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks, Alan. I'm trying to think, who did Stoke have that James allowed them to get promoted? <laughs> Collins. Smith. Smith. I'm pretty sure their team's... Lucas. Is it Tailman? Is the... In in is he how you read it? Because I know everyone in this team's like, low 70s. <laughs> At most. Klukas. Can they get in behind them? Although I am a couple seasons in, so maybe they're better. And the danger is averted. Maybe Oakley Booth's like so eighty. The then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Or so. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man. Yeah, after Don James's first season, there's people looking for him to be sold, and I'm like, why would you sell him? <laughs> he is still class. Like, he's got the pace that you'd want. There's just things he needs to add to his game. Which he can, as he's a young player who didn't even cost that much. Like, here is Fred. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Like, if he works in his like and get ready passing and finishing, like, and a couple other things in a couple of years, he could Johnny be a very, very decent well, we player to have. Like, Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Stoke City facing West Ham United. Yeah, that looks a great matchup, doesn't it? Looking forward to some fast flowing football there. And he can already give us stuff now, like can already Oh that was a good shot. He can he can already give us like can the players react to that? He already gives us a good option, like. Well the clearance half hearted. An authoritative challenge. We can go to Alan McAdally now for news of a goal in the Wolves game. Alan. It's a third goal for Arsenal. 55 minutes played. 3 1. Alan McAdally keeping us right up to date. Oh. Well, snuffing out the danger, but a corner coming up. And firing it into. Run Williams! Oh. Well, not the greatest header, but a skip defending. That would have been a, a big header. to the spot. More details from Allen. It's a penalty for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Ah. The ball down on the spot. Here he comes. Oh, it's a great penalty. Jesus. High into the corner, away from the goalkeeper. 61 minutes played. 3 2. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Takes aim. Oh my god, they just fucking passed it around me. 
Sam, folks. <laughs> Will always be a Premier League striker. He, he cannot escape. Alright, I need to make fucking subs. There's just. Don't like how it's going. The boys who are resting will get playing. <laughs> a referee playing advantage here. And I can tell you a goal has been scored at Anfield. Alan McAnally with the details. It's another goal for Liverpool. 67 minutes played. 4 1. Many thanks, Alan. Under pressure here. Teammates in the middle. Yes! Ahmad! What a finish. First goal of the season. <sighs> Big save. Yeah, Marshall's not getting on any headers. Keeper made it look easy. We can go to Alan McAnally now for news of a goal in the Wolves game. Alan. It's another goal for Arsenal. 75 minutes played. 4 2. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Everton. Yeah, Derek, it should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. Successfully cut out. United struggling in terms of possession, but when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. Can he put it away? <laughs> saved. Another goal from this corner would, in all likelihood, secure victory. Over it comes. Ooh. And he clears the danger. Breaking at pace. Just listen to the crowd, Derek, urging their team on. Surely they'll get another chance. Campbell. Well, that is how to play advantage. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Didn't see no foul. Time for us to bring in Alan McInerney. Oh, this my God. A goal at Turf Moor. Alan, tell us all about it. It's a third goal for Manchester City. Six minutes remain. 3-0. Thanks very much, as always, Alan. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Well, not a cross that will live long in the memory. Goal kick. Where's Martial? Give me Martial. <laughs> That's where Scott should have been. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Teammates to play it to. A real opening now. What? Is it going to be? Absolutely. How the fuck is that a handball? Oh my god. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got That's fucking unbelievable. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off. Oh my god, that's card, fucking certainly knows what the referee's thinking. That is scripting and it's finest. Topsy-turvy game this has been. Still level here, but Manchester United making a push near the end. Well, at first glance, you would think a strong possibility of a red card. Let's see. The challenge came in. Excessive force. Red card, the verdict. Well, he dropped all his teammates in it there. Very, very unprofessional. On and on he goes. He's in here. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck's sake. The, the referee decides that will be <sighs> and the 
teams simply couldn't be separated. A point apiece, Lee, Manchester United's performance. What did you make of it? That's fucking bullshit. I fucking knew it was coming. Absolutely scripted. <sighs> fucking. Well, you can certainly feel the excitement tonight here at the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester United facing Everton. <sighs> like that, never likely to trouble the keeper. No, he's got his positioning right, but it was a poor Oh, it's there. <laughs> Forgot I sold him to Everton. McGuire! McGuire! <laughs> Fucking high McGuire. And now the delivery. McGuire! Handball! Oh, fuck off. And for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Oh, that's a real concern look from the bench, I have to tell you, because he's landed right on top of his elbow, and that's causing him some sick... And a long way out... Rashford! What a banger. What a strike, he took a chance, did he swerve, is the keeper at fault, he won't care, caught it so sweetly. So back underway. I am back. In this game, Manchester United with the advantage.
Okay, now I'm actually back. <laughs> as we look at the table, I think it's fair to say a surprise to see Chelsea struggle as much as this league. Nope. Well, you have to look no surprise. The table to realise they're not in a Champions League place, and that's unthinkable. It really is. The club's in turmoil, way below the standards that have been set. Accountability. That's the key in any club, top to bottom. Well, far from textbook defending. Opportunity it is. Pogba, surely. Oh my god, Haaland. Should have taken a touch. Should have taken a touch. Definitely cut out. What a touch. Pogba with the forward surge. Oh, Good too much. Into the right place, but no one able to finish it off. Over the touchline for a throw in. A chance to whip it in. Pogba has plenty of know how in the ball shielding department. Under real pressure oh, come on! Breaking at pace. He has very much been the talk of the town going into this match, playing against his old club, and I wonder what's going through his mind, Lee. Well, Derek, whilst the occasion for him is a nice one, and there'll be lots of smiley faces surrounding you when you meet old friends, etc., I can tell you those smiley faces, every single one of them, will want you to have a nightmare and fall flat on your face when the game starts. It could be a tricky day for him today. Well, he's already considered a goal, although it was a banger, like so. I wouldn't feel bad, that, Dave. I wouldn't feel bad. Oh! Oh! Unbelievable! <laughs> the fucking Rabona assist gets chipped. Oh! Unbelievable! <laughs> <laughs> fucking Gary Neville. It's my favorite fucking piece of commentary ever. Unbelievable! It's going their way. Two nil. James Rodriguez. You've got to love Gary. Oh, why is my defenders dropping so deep? Not high quality defending. Are really closing him down. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Bernard. It's with Alan. Someone has found the net at Anfield. Who exactly? Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Liverpool. 32 minutes, please. 1 0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Oh, what a fucking block. Fucking trapped it. Race! Oh! What? Right past the post. Right past it. How many goals are they going to score? They've created so many chances. If they put half of them away, it could be a cricket score. Rashford, and he's in. And still danger here. Oh, Paul, fucking commit, lad. It's with Alex Tennis. Well, can Manchester United make this pressure count? The fans are doing their bit. Just listen to this noise. Damn it. Unable to trouble the defence with that cross. Yes, Poe. Fucking mighty. He was in on the keeper, rounded in magnificently, and left himself an easy finish. 41 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks, Alan. He's 
Nice. <laughs> the hell, these fucking kickouts are shocking. Lot. Oh, is he missed? Look at look at where my arrow is aiming. My arrow is aiming the back of the net, and he sliced it. Well, he's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky. These kickouts, lad. To here. Individual brilliance. What can they do from here? I Marcus today just feels different. He feels like he's just... I don't even know. Like he wants to score, he wants it more than everyone else. He's making great runs. Doing everything pretty much brilliantly, like. It's with Alan. Godfrey. And there to intervene. How has he hit the bar? I'm delighted to say more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Southampton. Yeah, that looks a great matchup, doesn't it? Looking forward to some fast flowing football there. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Yeri Mina. Good movement. And they have possession again. Pau Torres. Bruno Fernandes. Oh my word! How many fucking chances am I gonna fucking put wide? Like. Jesus. Another shit kick out from De Gea. What's happening to De Gea, lad? Another one. Can we get a, a shit kick out from De Gea counter? <laughs> Gunther. Really closing him down. And I'm just not fucking Alvaro taking advantage Alvaro of these shit kickouts. As it should Alvaro be. Well read to put an end to that attack. I'm delighted to say more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Everton facing Arsenal. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium. It should be a really entertaining match. Come on. Damn it! Everyone's fucked on the bench. <laughs> Probably should have looked at that before the game. 
intelligent threaded pass here. I wanted to go to Rashford and it went to Haaland who was fucking 50 yards offside apparently. This could pose problems for the defenders. Bruno Fernandes! Yes! Now the game is sealed. Play and what a ball that is to put him through and he had choices of what type of finish to apply and bang he goes for the smash lovely goal so on with the game again United in charge the scoreline threatening to get ugly Jean-Philippe Gabama Keeping the ball moving. And snuffing out the danger. Promising attack this. And he takes on the shot. Oof. Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. Well, he's given a corner, they referee. And a no-nonsense clearance. Now he must favor the cross. He's trying to go to Rashford there. And then it goes to Rashford when he's offside. This game's logic is so fucking awful. Gabama. And he did well to cut it out. James Rodriguez. Well, not the pass he had in mind. This might have potential. I'm fucking jumping off a bridge. EA, yeah. let's 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 watch this playback again. I press squared across. Look. This is actually awful. It's... I, I just can't explain to you how awful this is. No, EA. Look at the... Look at the players. Look at the circles around the players. And look at where the tra trajectory of the ball is aimed. And where the ball should go. The ball should end up by Rashford, but for some reason, it's a small chip to Martial. Why the fuck is the game that way? Why? You even have like lines drawn on the screen showing you how wrong you are, and still, it's so fucking stupid. Let's try this again. And in with a real chance. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. And the press is on. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. And news of a goal in the Wolves match. Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Wolverhampton. Wanderers. Five minutes remaining. 3-1. Thanks, Alan. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Just been a thoroughly cogent and convincing performance in this match, Lee. Well, creatively, United have been great tonight. Imagination, delivery, execution, top draw performance. Chance after chance, a joy to watch. Oh my god. Jaden Sancho. Juan Bisaka. And there it is, the final <sighs> Right. Just the United victory. No fans will be happy about that Lee. Well, being potent up front gives you a great chance in any game. And there was certainly that today. Sharp, clinical, and exciting to watch for sure. 
Oh, the hokey cokey. Oh, the hokey cokey. Good, Haaland stopped his run. Haaland did not have the best games there, that game, particularly. Youth player unsaddled. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Dexter, man. Right, who's the other one? Cathal. Or Cahal. Cahal Maloney. Um. Oh, he's definitely getting signed. And Dexter, man. <laughs> the man with no shirt slash body. And he's always holding the red card. And Cahal Maloney. Lovely, I've did the youth development thing. This is just great. <laughs> now let's see Dexter Man now. Where is he? Is he left wing? He's still... It is beautiful. Right, what do I need to go into? I need to go into development plan. He's still training to be a left mid. And then the other center mid. Cal Maloney from NI Yes. So we've Southampton, and then we've Sheffield, and then we've... Jesus, we're just not getting a rest, hey? Constant games. And it's against Southampton, so... Starting. Dexter Man is starting. I want to see <laughs> this dude on the pitch. I swear to fuck. I'm going to lose it if he is nobody. <laughs> oh, he's nobody! <laughs> he's constantly on the ring! <laughs> oh my god, he actually has no body. <laughs> oh my god, well, how is he going to line up? <laughs> is he there? Can I see him? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is unbelievable. <laughs> what fucking glitch is this? Oh my god. Oh my god, that's fucking beautiful. Mitrovic for something. Don't see it happen. Yeah. 
That's so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh my god. There he is! <laughs> He's on the fucking bench place. <laughs> oh. oh my god. He's just constantly shirtless with no body. Constantly holding the red card. Oh. Good Dexter, my man. What foot is he? He's left footed, okay. He's 6'3. Six 6'3 three. Six three giant out on the wing. Is he in the box? <laughs> looks looks like he's not. Bye! Dexter Man! Oh. Oh my god. I'm not I'm not winning this match, I'm telling you right now. I'm spending all this match looking at Dexter Man. How do you see this match going for them, Lee? Well Derek, it was easy enough for them in the last game, a three nil home win. Can't see anything up. Can he put them ahead? Well it's an opportunity, but really good defending you've got to say. I mean he's six three, why is he not in the box? the corner played into the box. Not really the ideal clearance. Big save. Played into the center of the box. Well, it has come to nothing. Well, one of the big stories today, the debut for the 18-year-old. <laughs> Lee, what can we expect to see from him? Well, Derek, all the glitz and glamour of life of a professional footballer start with games like this, the debut. Terrifying ordeal, I can tell you. A trip into the unknown. Especially when you've no body. <laughs> You know what? I'm sure he's going to be just fine. He's a good player. Oh, oh no, 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 well, we're going to see the replay. The goalkeeper won't want to see this again. He gives the ball away. Still a bit to do, to be fair. But it's his fault. <laughs> what? So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. What? Well, unfortunately, we had to cut Alan McAnally short just then. Just to confirm, Arsenal did find an net in that match. And they now hold a 1-0 lead. That is, that is, what? That is shocking, lad. And yet their keeper has fucking any composure. Why? I didn't throw it there! Fuck me, this game's annoying me now, hey. Oh, and that's a red, right. Fair enough. Fucking stupid game. And for anyone thinking this isn't a stupid game, look what I'm fucking playing with! Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Well, we had to interrupt Alan McAnally in full flow there. Apologies for that. To clarify, Spurs found the net in that game, and they're winning in that game at the moment by two goals to one. McTominay. Yes. Right now we can think about moving McTominay back into 
center back. Because <laughs> currently don't have a center back. Alexander Mitrovic, Oriol Romeu, now with Mitrovic, let's go to Alan McAdally, yes Dexter, that's what we like, he may have no body, but he still has the strength to shield out of the play, I mean shield out of the play, I mean just get, 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 fucking dribble out of the play. But well, United in control with their possession, but that doesn't lead to goals necessarily. Come on, Daxter. They haven't created enough. Come on, Daxter. Front, midfield, very average. Come on, Daxter. Show a bit of show a bit of strength about you, lad. Well, strong play here. You use your body. Use your body. <laughs> and it will be a throw in. Alexander Mitrovic. They keep the ball moving. Well, if you're wondering about out of time, two minutes it'll be. Donny van der Beek. Encouraging stuff from United. And he's in. And there is the goal to give them the lead. It's ten men. Great, 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 great. Great goal, great goal, great goal. You've got to ask questions about the keeper's positioning. That's half of his job. You can put the best keeper in the world the wrong side of the goal, he won't save anything. So they're going for half time whistle. It's United in front here, Lee. Well, as we've said, Derek, this team scored. Um, so that first goal was just abysmal. The, second half the, the sending off, the granted, it was a yellow card, but. Not a send off. And then thirdly, Brandon Dexter Williams. Man's existence. Uh, what? <laughs> three things. Uh, three things uh, FIFA must fix about their game. <laughs> Donny van der Beek and Martial. Well, he's given it away. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, it petered out. Come on, Daxter. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Ooh. The goalkeeper didn't see him coming. Because <laughs> half of his body is not visible. It's another goal for Tottenham Hotspur. It's been scored by Hung Min Son. The ball was played onto his chest with his back to goal. And with a clever turn, he slotted into the corner of the net. Minutes, Thanks as ever for the update. Ref, how do you see that? Is he's not even fucking visible, lad? <laughs> how do you see that it came off him? <laughs> Just a quick reminder: action from the third round of the FA Cup coming up live on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Sheffield. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put Donny back here and put on Kerner, and then Cavani can get on, and then. Hi, oh, Laird, can get a shout. Field United. Well, a super atmosphere of cup football rarely lets you down. Exciting game that will be, I'm sure, Derek. Promising attack, this. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Yes, he, he, he. Into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp at the second time of asking, but first time around, it was a good deal more complicated. Oh, it was a fabulous save. He, he makes up for his earning mistake. With great relief. Not fully makes up for it, but slightly makes up for it. It's a second goal for Arsenal. 59 minutes played, 2-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Cavani takes the shot. Yes. Hug him. Hug him, that extra man. I don't really know how that feels whenever you're hugging nothing, but, you know. You, you got your assist on your debut. Tries 
All right, Vandervoort, you get fucking shit by Nathan Redmond. You are fucking going out and loan, lad, and I'm getting a fucking bash up, Giver. Challenge and a throw in coming up, and a substitution in the offing. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. I believe there's been a goal in the Spurs game. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's the second goal for Watford. 72 minutes, please. 4 2. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Not the best here. Oh, Claird. You had to do better there. Fred. Who the fuck are you kicking it to, Fred? Correctly decided to play advantage. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Take it away. Just ten minutes to go. More Greenwood, please fucking go on side, like. Oh, that's a real concern. Looks from the bench, I have to tell you, because he's landed right on top of his elbow, and that's causing him some serious pain at the moment. Cheers, Jeff. Oh my God, Fred. He. Are not doing so good anymore. Just a little bit more. The fans are demanding it. They could get themselves back into this one. Determined defending. I believe there's been a change to the scoreline in the Brentford match. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's the second goal for Liverpool. Four minutes remaining. <sighs> Thank you, Alan McAnally. That's big from Bertrand. <sighs> Redmond. Fred, please get back. Set up for the counter attack, you know. That fucking... <laughs> that goal conceded was shocking. Thomas Leon and Henry Horn. <laughs> Oh, fuck it. Oh, 
And don't get sent off, please, even though I'm controlling you. Just, just don't. Um, 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 who can I? Leon's out on loan. And who's the other dude? Also out on loan. Nah, man. I think Reese Devine needs to be transferred to these nine. They're 20 and 67. I just don't see a future for him. He needed to be 70 and 20, and there would have been. Um. Um, so, Mabry leaves alone, Chong leaves, Cavani joins Roma, I'm glad to see Roma, or, well, in this career mode anyway, Cavani to go and get some um, first team football. Because he wasn't really playing as much. Mangy's out on loan. Whereas in real life, I'm glad um, that we've re signed him. And we're keeping him. Got to give Darren Sweeney a chance, like Cameron Gay. <laughs> May as well release this dude. He's not gonna get ahead of Dexter Mullen, like so. What's the point? Um, all right, we've got Sheffield. Again with the the shit kit choices. Who can we play? I've realized something needs to be done. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Who? Q. 
Yarner, uh, McTominay, Delot, Vanderfort, you've got one more fucking chance, lad, and if you fucking do any dodgy shit, it is January, like, I have the option. And welcome to a venue that began its existence as a cricket Thank ground back in 1855. Football has been played here since 1862, Bramall Lane Manchester. in Sheffield. Manchester my name is Derek Ray, and, and with Sheffield me for commentary United. is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And live action to come from the oldest cup competition of them all, the FA Cup. It's Sheffield United taking on Manchester United. Well, cheers, Derek. These home fans are going to enjoy this. They surely must. With a team coming as big as this to your club, make sure you don't let yourselves down. Don't let those fans down. Don't let your families down. Really, really give it everything you've got. What is he on about? <laughs> don't let your families down. Like, fuck me. Calm down. It is the... Fucking FA Cup, lad. <laughs> it is Sheffield versus Man United. Not a big fixture. <laughs> That a 4-4-2 can really create a 2v1 down the side, so keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for the two forwards up front. <sighs> Ryan Brewster. Stevens might be able to set up the chance. Well, not the greatest pass, easily intercepted. Good fighting, Gurner. Donny van der Beek. He's in with a chance. He's got to score. Lovely. Golasso. Gololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololol
Yes, James. George Baldock. And it's a quality pass. The end product just wasn't there. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Yes. That was a run and a half by Dlot. Moncayola shielding the ball superbly. Well, that is how to play advantage. <laughs> Berge Moncayola under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. Might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. End product or not. Oh, Torres. Run the full patch. Well, they broke its speed, but looked like they were going to capitalize. Not far off target. Dangerous looking through ball. Moncayola. And Mousset with it. Berge. John Fleck. It's kind of feeling like they're scripted to score this play. Now, what can they do from here? The way my fucking players are playing and the fucking switching. Interception to snuff out the danger. And really pressing their opponents. Martial. Oh, what an opportunity. Surely. And a goal to increase their advantage. Nice. This is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the score line. Sweaty goals. Get your <laughs> to take it away. A good and fair challenge. Counter attacking very much an option. Oh, what a finish! What a finish! Well, we can see it again now, and it really is a difficult ball to defend against. Oh, Ahmad just bangs it. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4 0. Where, where, where was the foul? <sighs> Making sure nothing untoward happened. Now let's see what they can do here. They've regained possession. Come on, Donny. Can he finish this? Easy, 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 easy. Oh my goodness, it's so one sided. Five nil in this match. Well, visionary passing. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep it quiet. It's a bit easy, hey? 
Did I mention it was easy? This is an ultimate difficulty. Uh oh, my TV is trying to distract me. My TV saying, "Do you wanna try to turn turn off or whatever?" And I'm like, "No, lad, in the middle of the game here, lad. Middle of the game here, sir." No, Harry, that's just a bit shit. <laughs> like, what are you doing, Harry? What are you doing? I just love seeing it. Cavani saying a one year extension. Switched around and are ready now for the second half. No, nope. <laughs> that didn't work. And a throw in, it's going to be. More than decent, this from United. And he might be through here. Able to close down the shot.
All right, I'm back again. And over comes the corner. Oh, that's a lovely header. It's a lovely header. He's paid up for that goal that he let in. That's near post. <laughs> that's a near post cross. <laughs> Every day of the week, that's a near post cross. <laughs> I pressed X to fake shot and it didn't happen. Why FIFA? Because I knew I'd pressed, I'd pressed circle to tackle and then he ended up with the ball and I was like, okay, I have the ball so the game's going to think I'm going to want to clear it now but I don't want to clear it, I want to keep the ball so then I'm going to press X to fake shot so that I don't do that but it just didn't happen. The game was like, I don't care if you want a fake shot. I'm not letting it happen. <sighs> right. I'm just going to jump to result. <laughs> I've just seen that some sponsor for United's training kit have pulled out because of all of the shiz and shiz that people being like glazers out woo Oh. This is a bit awkward. My both my center backs are. <laughs> Search. Chip mounting. Transfer listed. He's your best striker. What are you doing? <sighs> Shane Duffy, what a legend. Am I in the game? Yep. No, nope, I'm not in the game. Now I'm in the game. So...
It's um Well they say it never stops raining in Manchester. It's a typically grey night here at Old Trafford, but we're expecting plenty of colour out there on the pitch. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box as always by Lee Dixon. And what we have coming up for you is the semi-final first leg in the It's really annoying how it is Manchester United facing Everton. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Welcome, everybody. Oh, the semi-final we've got in prospect. Coming up to probably one of the biggest summers. Huge racket outside the stadium before kick-off. Really big achievement to get Oof. in. Oof. To go out in the semi-final. That United have seen in a while. Get your focus on the final. Like, focus on your game plan. And make sure you're... If United get the summer right, the league could be on, like. And slipped through beautifully. Not to be this time. Was perfectly timed, and it is going to be a corner. Over it comes. Yes, Holland. Like if they were to sign Varane, Rice, Sancho, and Holland, <laughs> there's no way we're not winning the league. And then, if you sign three of those players, then I'd say we're favourites. But then if you sign two, then I'm, I don't think we're favourites. But I think we can definitely challenge. But if we don't... Two is the minimum that I will accept out of them. Oh, yeah, but surely the equaliser, it was. Wasn't paying attention. Anyway, out of them, well, the earlier goal cancelled out, one apiece. Like, I think we definitely you need a center back beside Maguire. Well, he's given us away. Our defense is not good enough yet. And I think the center back beside Maguire is the key place to improve. Sloppy in possession, James Rodriguez. What can they do from here? A real opening now! <sighs> what a finish! In the lead again! Well, here's the replay, and as we see, it's a clear and to split the defence and then through on goal. Do you go for <sighs> We need to defend in mid. And Declan Rice is the best option. Because you can trade Lingard for Rice, plus a bit of money. Boom, you've got Dak and Rice. And then... Now that we've re-signed Cavani, you also re-sign Pogba. Because if you don't re-sign Pogba, we're not winning the league next year. It's not happening. If you don't re-sign that man, we're not winning the league. It's not happening. And then Sancho and Haaland will just transform our team to the point where As I was saying, Sancho and Holland would transform our team to the point where we'd just be quite unstoppable, and there'd be no real flaws in our in our squad. If if I'm if I would have an input in the transfers this summer, I would. Say you have to get that rice deal done. Need to defend a mid badly. Strength to hang on to it. It will be. 
You have to get Varan or Pau Torres or whatever center back that is good enough to partner Harry. Why has he gone at that with his left? It's went in anyway, but <laughs> bit stupid. And then you need Sancho because we need a right wing, and then we can start transitioning Greenwood to striker. And Cavani can mentor him. And Holland is a bit more of a, a luxury, more of like a to get someone that good. You'd you'd be unstoppable, like you'd be Champions League final contenders, like easily. He's that big of a difference maker. Like, they're the four I would go for. And, there to intervene. and I can understand it's a bit unrealistic. Especially with the current Rashford. shit that's going on now. I don't mean, like, COVID. I mean, like, gl fucking everyone saying Glazer's out has made it a bit unrealistic. Because I really don't think the money is a problem. And they're going to say it is a problem, but it really isn't. Oof. They're going to say, oh, our profits are down. Oh, no, but you've still got fucking money in the bank, lad. You've still got so much. You're just not profiting as much. And it's quite clear with COVID, we're kind of over the hill. I think we've we've seen the the worst of it. Like, although in places like India, it's not going so well for COVID at the moment. But in the UK, it's I think we're over the hill. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Gunter. On the ball, Coleman. Gabama. And then, um... Calvert-Lewin. Strong play here. Good work to regain possession. It's a fine United move in the... And he's broken free! Like, <sighs> it's 6 1 against Everton here, lad. And every player I've mentioned, <laughs> other than Varane, because I didn't buy Varane in this career mode, because I was thinking it was too unlikely to happen, but since then, it's looking a bit more likely. Because I thought it's probably more likely United would end up with Pau Torres. But if there's a world where we can get Varane, you have to go for it. I mean, he's one of the best centre backs in the world. Like, you get Varane, team transforms, get Declan Rice to add to that as well. Now your defence is pretty much impenetrable. Like, the only worry you have is fucking Luke Shaw <laughs> in defence. Didn't quite go to plan. A bad pass it was. But we have Tellers as well. Oh, Jesus. We have Tellers as well, like, so. Half an hour remaining, then. Either of them isn't playing well, they get dropped for the other one. So there's good competition, which will motivate them to play well. And if it's clearly motivated Shaw to play well this season, 
He had an awful start to the season. I think Shaw was our worst player this, or in uh, 2020, but. I'm just looking forward to the summer. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, I can pull it off. And you bring in Vandersar to help you. <sighs> Vandersar to help you with transfers. Because he's done a good job at Ajax <laughs> with transfers. Cause look at how much money they got for um, Delect Lick. And they got a decent, uh, decent price for Van de Beek as well. Although I still think Van de Beek just needs more time to bed into the team. I don't think it's he's been a bad signing. Like I think he's, been, I think he's been a great signing because it'll get to the point next season where we'll need that depth, and he will prove to be a great option. And I think he'll definitely have a, oh Jesus, like a, that second season jump that you see a lot of City players have. I think Van de Beek will have that same sort of thing. Rice, can you not hide? And don't forget we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Everton facing Crystal Palace. Yeah, that looks a great matchup, doesn't it? Looking forward to some fast flowing... Right, sub, 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 subs. Football there. It might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Coleman. Here is Andre Gomes. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Oh, it is too wonderful. There he is in the box. And over comes the corner. Can't even see him. Not to be this time. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. <laughs> and watch Dexter Man, he's ghosting in. Why is it gone there? It's gone to Maloney. Maloney! Oh! Could have been a debut goal for Maloney. Out at the back post. It's gone to Baye. For whatever reason. Kenny. Godfrey. It's with John Joe Kenny. Well, he's given it away. Good use of advantage by the referee. Went in strongly, decisively. Yes, Maloney. Come on, Dexter Man, ghosting down the flank. This looks promising. He takes on the shot. Good defending to prevent the chance. Yes, Daxter. He didn't see you coming. Here is Andre Gomes. Andre Gomes. 
With the lead. Oh, and now we have Brentford in the league. Sure. Go to Cardiff and get some playing time. Brentford, Brentford. Yes, I'm thinking a full rest for Bruno for this game. And then by this, by the next West Ham game, everyone should be fully rested. Welcome everyone to England's Northwest. The action soon to get on. Well, the I'm gonna end this stream here and then uh the next stream will be me playing this game basically. <laughs> so thanks for watching.